Freeze, punk. You feeling lucky? I always wanted to say that. <laughs> Hey Power Director Peeps, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love from PowerDirectorUniversity.com. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do the freeze frame effect using Power Director. Now, if you going to use this effect for your videos, I want you to put hashtag freeze frame love in the comment section below. Alright guys, can't be waiting long enough. Let's jump off into the software and make it happen. Here we are in Power Director 17. Before we get started, I want to remind you to subscribe to Power Director University to see great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. And if you subscribe, don't forget to click the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. You don't want to miss out on this Power Director love now, so make sure you click on that bell. Let's get frozen. And no, I'm not gonna sing Let It Go, even though I really want to. You're welcome. A freeze frame is used to stop the action in order to focus the viewer's attention on something important, interesting, or plain old downright awesome. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to get her done. That's something we say here in Texas, get her done. As you can see, I have a clip in my timeline of a b-boy doing his thing. Now, if I go ahead and left click on this playhead here, hold down my left mouth button and move this to the right, I can scrub the timeline and you can see the beauty that's going on within his moves and motions, okay? And I want to create a freeze frame of these beautiful moves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to left click on this clip to activate it. And then I'm going to go here to designer and I'm going to go to action camera center and then the action camera center will open up in all of its wonderful glory. And I want to make sure that I am on the effect tab. And then I want to make sure that I click on the carrot next to freeze frame to open up my freeze frame parameters and settings. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to find the frame that I want to capture and freeze on, right? So I'm going to place my mouse over the playhead again, hold down my left mouse button, and then I'm going to scrub the timeline until it gets to a position that I like. So I can just do this. I can also use the navigation arrows here to move around. Uh, I can go next frame or previous frame, but I can even use the keyboard if i use the period key on my keyboard it'll move forward one frame at a time if i use the comma key on my keyboard it'll move backwards one frame at a time so i can use these to kind of get exactly to the frame that i want and i like it right here so this is what i'm going to capture now the next thing i need to do is capture this freeze frame and make it stop. So I can click on this add freeze frame button down here above the thumbnail of this timeline, or I can click on the add freeze frame button here. Either one is fine. I'm going to click on this one. And so you see that it adds a keyframe here. This is the freeze frame. This is where it freezes. Now, the next thing I need to do is choose the duration. Right now, the duration is at one second. And how long you want your freeze frame to last is really going to differ from project to project. It's really up to you to figure out how long you want it to last. So you might want to just try different uh, timings and play it back to see how it looks with different durations to see which one you like best. I'm going to make this one three seconds. So I'm going to left click in here till that's blue. I'm going to type zero three and I'm going to hit enter. And now my duration is set to three seconds. So when it freezes, it's going to stay frozen in that position for three seconds. The next option on here is to apply the zoom effect. Now, if you want to, you can use this. I'm not big on this option, 
but it might work for you and the look that you're trying to achieve. And if so, go ahead and get down and use it. Uh, if you click on this little box here, what will happen is you'll have a bounding box and you can use the bounding box. When you see these, uh, the crosshairs, you can left click, hold down your mouse and move it around to where you want it to freeze frame on. So if the subject was up here, you can move it up there. You can also put your cursor over these nodes until it turns into a line with two arrows and you can change the size of the bounding box to whatever you want to make sure you're capturing all of the area that you want to freeze frame in on. It's really up to you as I stated. I'm not going to include this right now. It was included in the demo, but I'm going to leave it out on this option. And then we have apply effect to. This comes into play if you use another option called apply replay and reverse, which is in a different part of the action camera center. And if you want to know more about this and other features of the action camera center, watch part one and part two of my action camera center tutorials. So I'm not going to get into all of that, but we got our duration set. We got our freeze frame. So I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. So we can play this back. And you see that it freezes there. And it keeps going. So we're good to go. We got our freeze frame. Now what we do want to do as well is for this one, we can add an overlay or whatever you want to add to it, really. So if I go here to the overlay, a PIP object room, you left click on that. And I can choose whichever one of these overlays I want to use. And I'm going to drag this one down to the effects timeline. Oh, matter, matter of fact, to track two, this is the overlay. And now when I play this back, it's going to add this little effect here. Bam, when it freezes. So it's all good. We got a little overlay. We got our freeze frame. And guess what? Looks pretty good. This is actually freeze frame fantastic. And there you have it, people. How to make a freeze frame in Power with Director 17. Don't forget to check out more of my content to learn how to use Power Director. If you decide that you like PowerDirector 17 and you want to buy or upgrade to this software, I'll leave some links in the video description that you can use to purchase it. Now, those are affiliate links, so if you use them, I'll get a small commission which will help me continue to create content which teaches you how to use PowerDirector. You'll pay the same price as if you went to the website and purchased it on your own. So if you want to help me help you, use those affiliate links. All right, PowerDirector peeps, I want to thank you for watching this video all the way through to the end truly means the world to me. If you have any tutorials that you'd like us to make, please go to the tutorial request form link in the video description below. And if you want to learn all things Power Director, make sure that you watch as much of my content as possible because it'll help get you up to speed on how to use the program. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.